Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on the 1st of March 2024, and we've got our first set of new mods for the month. So, as always, what I'll be doing with, with these mod reviews is I'll leave timestamps down below. So if you're interested in a certain mod and that, then yep, feel free to skip to that. But yeah, first of all, we're looking at place balls. And we're going to be starting off with the Farm Medium Pack by Holtz FS. It is 29.39 megabytes to download. And in this pack, we've got some two houses, one with a carport, one with not. We've got a silo with a 850,000 year capacity. And also, we've got four sheds. So the silo is. 10 slots for consoles and all of the sheds are 6 slots each so have a look around, start with the small house we've got here and yeah, simple, basic not enter, just a trigger point next is the exact same one but it has a little garden or like a little carport area, I'm sure we've got a UTV or an ATV, or maybe a small pickup, like the PLP-50 and that, or the Farmson version of that. <laughs> Get that in there, so, yeah. Small house there is 9 slots, and the one with the garden is 10 slots. Next, we've got the silo here, and after I've gone through these, I will show you where to place them in that. But yeah, so we... Go. open this. I'll leave the help menu open. So, yep, it is a dry food silo. So, you dump it on the ground and you take it in from here. And yeah, having some issues with access here. So, one thing to note is with these silos, you need to open them from the outside. You can't open them from the inside. And I've got a light switch here on or off. And yep, yeah, decent little lighting. Yep, yeah, 850,000 year capacity. And I don't think it's a multi fruit side, I think it's just your base game stuff. And yeah, even like a nice little feature. I should have a look around here. So you've got your two bins, your elevator and that, your pipes and that. And yeah, it's got like a little, what was that, like a little dry unit or something? But yeah, very nice. So. Next we've got some sheds and these are sliding doors and with these you can open them from the inside and I'm pretty sure there is a light switch somewhere because yeah, by the looks of it there is like, a couple of little lamps but I have not been able to locate a light switch oh no there it is right there on the door so that's your shed number one. And shed number two is the same as the first one. But rather than it being a drive through, it's just one way in. Once again, like switch on and off. But yeah, you can use this as storage for vehicles and it is actually quite large. Like the bricklaying details, like even with the like con you know, concrete cement in that. Little details in that. Absolutely beautiful, nice animations, and sounds lovely. For our last two sheds, open here, so light switch again on and off there. And yep, yeah, it's similar to the first ones. The only difference is there is a little car port here. I'll say a little port and that, little sheltered area, so depends on how and where you place this. You can store equipment, like facing up this way. You can store pallets, store bales. And especially the ones with, like these, with just the single doors. You can't use them as, a, like, grain storage now, like, you know, dump grain in here. So yeah, we'll find this under build mode, so... Start off with the houses, so, under buildings. Go to farmhouse. And yeah, you've got your farmhouse there. Little satellite dish as well, I forgot to note. 
So yeah, that's the one without the little garden area. And yep, yeah, 9 and 10 slots respectively. All goes down to 1 afterwards. Ford silo. Under buildings, silos. At the end. And I said that was, yep, yeah, 10 slots. Goes down to 1. Yeah, for 850,000 years for 65 grand. Not too bad. And lastly, as part of the farm medium pack, we've got a shed, so. Yep, that is the single door one. And I think there. Is there any colour options? Not that I can see off, so. Yeah, your large shelter. Large shelter, large shelters. And yeah, it's all. 28 grand, 25 grand, 55 and 45 grand respectively. All of them are 6 slots each and goes down to 1. So yeah, that is the farm medium pack by Holtz FS. Next, we've got the big storage garage by ICAS. It is 6.71 megabytes to download. It is 18 slots for console. And again, similar to the other sheds, nice animations and that. But yeah, like the level of detail as well, like a couple of maps, or not a couple of maps, but a couple of buildings released by ICAS earlier on this week were nice. And similar again, very good. Nice detail, got your pillars, got your stuff works, or like your tools and that if you want to do the roleplay aspect. And similarly, you got a little outside area here. So yeah, close the gate. And I don't think there is a light switch here, is there? Have a little look around. Oh, there is. Boom. Oh, I like that. Oh, sorry if you've got epilepsy, but... Yeah, that, like, that nice little clog to it. So yeah, you'll find this under build mode. Under buildings and under sheds. I've scrolled down here. Big store garage. But we do have some colour options. So, got your green, red, red, white, grey. Sorry, your other greys. Ooh, beige. Nice bright red, blue, black. So yeah, I think it was about 20 or 22 different colour options here. So, uh, yeah, just, I do like these sheds. Especially with the customizations for, you know, changing the colours and that. So yeah, that is the Big Storage Garage by iCast. Next, we've got the Small Dutch Shed Machine Sheds. It is by Tynes. 7.56 megabytes to download, 16 slots each, and to be honest, I won't be surprised if this becomes a popular mod on the mod hub and that, if it's incorporated in other Dutch and other maps we'll see on the mod hub, but anyway, so yeah, small Dutch machine sheds, 3 grand each, 5 euros to upkeep each. Oh, actually I do like that roller, I didn't notice that before. Proper rolling door in that, so we've got one door here, one door here. Open the door. And yeah, we've got a couple of stuff we can grab, so... Actually, what is this? I've got no idea, is that... Oil can or extinguisher? Oh, the most important tool. Where is it to? There it is. We've got our hammer, there we go. So yeah, Oops. didn't mean to chuck that, so yeah. That's the first shed. And second shed, similar. And yeah, with all these, they are very similar, these are. The difference is in like the double doors and that. Like this one here. And actually got the staining texture as well, notice on the windows. That is nice. So yeah, I know I'm a bit rushing through, but yeah, I can't see no lights. There's no lights with these. And yeah, you'll find these under build mode, under buildings, sheds. 
So yeah, they're both three grand each, 16 slots, and it goes down to one, so... Yeah, sort of compare and contrast, so... No color options. So the first one, you got the double doors with the multiple windows. The second one, you've got a double door with one set of windows on top. And the other one here is slightly different, a bit of green and brown. But besides from that, right, they're, they're both exactly the same. So it's that one and... Was it this one single? Yeah. So these two are exactly the same. One is all brick and the other one is brick and corrugated metal. And the one with all the windows is a brick and mortar shed. So yeah, that is the small Dutch machine shed by Tynes. Next, we'll move on to our other place we've got, because I think we've got two more to look at. For our penultimate placeables, we've got the Cow Barn by IS Picks by Paul, brackets Paul, so Paul I'm guessing. 7.64 megabytes to download. And look at that, my notes. It is 13 slots for consoles, holds 25 cows, and the capacity is 10,000 liters of food. So your input is in here. And then over here, got your dollar box, so you've got your cows and that, so you can go with beef or your milking cows. And I know the general realm of this is. Let's just go for a mixture. So I know the general realm of this is calves and that, but for at least for consoles, on maps that aren't supported, so maps like. By spring, they got calves, so this may work a bit better on that kind of map. But yeah, for here on No Man's Land. Oh, wait a minute. Having issues with. Not enough space in the husbandry, so. Ooh, that is interesting. So, yeah. It says it holds 25 animals, so. Actually, this would actually be something good to have, actually, because you can have your 12 adult, adult cows and that in one barn. Have, like, say, two of these. When they have their calves and that, that will double the population, so those 12 calves can go into another pen. So, yeah, that's what I suspect. It holds 25 animals in total. Well, I'm guessing it's, like, 12 adult cows and... Yeah like 13 or 12 calves and that, so that is the Cow Barn, Cow Barn by Paul. Next we're going to, I'm not sure what to make of this, this is, on Mod Hub we've got plenty of mixer wagons, we've got mixer wagon mods and that, like, or mixer stations, shall I rephrase that, so we've got the Feed Mixer by, well I'll try to pronounce this correct, Acker Designer. It is 8.4 second megabytes to download. Slot count is 12 slots for each. And both of these will produce pig food and cow food. So, got your cow ones here. And got your pig ones here. So, let's go into our productions tab. So, yeah, also you get your pig food and your TMR. For TMR, we'll start off with it's 24 cycles per month. Production cost £48 per month. And each recipe is its equal amount, so 250 liters of grass and hay, 100 liters of straw and silage, and 50 liters of mineral feed. And in total, that will net you 750 liters of. TMR, so that is 1500, 15,000. So, yeah, that is that yields you 18,000 years of TMR per month. So, not the fastest of productions, but it does have a high capacity. So, from your grass to your silage, as we can see here, all four of these will hold a hundred thousand years, and strangely. The mineral feed of all 
when you look at the recipe, the least required, that holds 200,000 years, so yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. Decent, I'll say. But of course, our mods are available if you're looking for something a bit, a bit faster than that in terms of their production speed. But yeah, but just overall the level of detail is actually nice. Like the silo, the like, metal corrugated, whatever it is, green. So yeah, that's the one I don't have as much of an issue with. This one I do have issues with. Not because of a bug or anything, just because of the recipe. The ratios, don't worry, they make sense. So your input is the following. Not potatoes, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, sorghum, corn, oats, wheat, barley, canola, soybeans and sunflower. You need all of those. All those products get pig food. And why would you need that? Personally, yeah, like, I wish it was a bit scaled back or have different options. So, your different grains and that, your different root crops and that, and yeah, your different proteins. So, I don't know, you can have, say, wheat and barley with soybeans and sugar beet. Another one with, let's say, oats and canola, sunflower and potatoes or something like that. I think with, with this one here, it could have been categorised now, like break down two different options. Because, yeah, to have all of these as a requirement, that is a bit much, to be honest, but I'm not faulting the map, or no, not the map, or the mod creator and that. That is just my honest opinion, but still. I respect it, and it is something different. That's one thing I can appreciate with it. it's something different. And yep, yeah, that's all I can ask for. So, yep, yeah, that is the Feed Mixer by Acker Designer. So, that is the last of our placeables. Next, we've got a couple of pieces of equipment to look at. To start off with our vehicles and other sections, we've got the Linder Deal. Geotrack 73 by BG Gamer 003 13.49 megabytes to download. Slot count is 15, and I'm including this as a mod, new mod in that because it says on the mod hub version 1.1 released today, but there's no change log on that. But yeah, it is 73 and a half grand. 75 horsepower, top speed of 40 km per hour. The credit does go to Agar Design Austria. Configurations we got front attachment, front loader, main cutter, and interactive control. So, go into our shop here. Under vehicles, small tractors. Go to the end, and we've got our Linder Geotrack 73. So, yep. Yeah. It does go down to swap one slot count from 15. So yeah, tire options, we've got trade board, standard, wide, wide with weights, narrows, rear twins, twins all the way around, so some chonky boys there. Michelin, standard, wheel weights, and yet zero again, twins and that, back to standard, mighty standard, wheel weights, wide, wide tires with weights, Rear twins, twins all the way round. First time, similar. You do get narrows with the first times. Rear twins, twin wheels, and back to standard. And yeah, back to trailer board. So, got those. Fenders, got no or yes. So, that is the front fenders. The attachers, we've got standard, none. 240 kilogram weight, 480. Kilogram weight or a three point linkage attacher and then back down to standards. Front loaders, we got no, the quickie or the hoyer and back to none. Design color, we've got light grey, dark grey, and red, so that changes the hood. Ring colors, we've got white, 
grey or black, so that is obviously the room colours. Can't change the main body colour, that is a Linder colour, so fair enough, that is the Linder G-Track 73 by BGamer003. Again, not sure if it's a new mod or an update, but since I was so changed jog, for rather than safe and sorry, just to include this, so next we've got John Deere X9 Full Animated Combine Harvester. This is by Just Farming. It is 15.92 megabytes to download. Slot count is 24 slots. And yeah, we got a US and the EU version. And yep, yeah, and a directly quote from the description what I'm saying is the machine provides the equal performance compared to the base game version of this in terms of the power, working speed, and hopper capacity. However, it stands out with the abundance of integrated animations. One thing to note, I've looked at some of the pictures on the mod hub, and it says like, for example, it shows the cover being open in that. For console players, we don't have the interactive control script in that because it's a scripted mod and can't have scripts on consoles because of reasons because of Microsoft and Sony or one the other. I can't remember who is to blame, but not going to go into that. So, yeah, we'll find these under vehicles and harvesters. So, yeah, you've got your base game one there. Same sock count, same everything. And the only real difference is, so 24 slots go down to one. So yeah, in terms of setup, we've got wheel setup, EU, or US. So that changes to like the reflectors and that. The width of the tracks. Pipes, we've got design 1, or design 2, so a bit longer, depending on what you want to go for. And yeah, that's down to like the headers and that, so 13.7 meters or 50 meter header. But anyway, let's head into the US spec version. So I'm going to open the help menu, so I'm going to go into cab, because a lot of this can be seen from in cab, and it's one of those things you may not see much now, but again, it's the le little details when it comes to mods now that I, I do love, so L1 next to unfold, so L1 and right analog stick. So yeah, L1 and right analog stick, up and down, that changes the left mirror. And I'm pretty sure, what's that changing? L1 and left and right, and that's the auger that is, so we get the auger out. Oh yeah, with the auger version, nah, obviously you can still do this with the base game X9. But yeah. Changes the auger there apparently, but I can't see a difference. Yeah, I'm looking in cab, that's up and down, left and right. It says it's the auger pipe now, like the when it sticks out on that, so not sure. But L1 and R1, if we go up and down, it is pretty slow. But it does maneuver the control panel, so if you want a bit more of a wider berth, now if you're when you're in your combine horse, or if you're more of a leg spread open apart person, I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying if you like here have your legs spread open, please don't get demonetized on YouTube, please. But yeah, so yeah, we can adjust that. And then lastly for R1, so R1 and right and log stick that changes the mirror on the right and up and down changes on the console here down here so you got down to go right and up to go left and I'm sure when I'm editing this I will show the close-ups of these but yeah apart from that like, I can't see an option obviously set that to unload Try and look in the pipe now. No options there, so 
And yeah, I'm just looking through the help menu section here. Like, there's no option to open the sites now, like, it's on the mod hub version. This can be seen open. But me personally, I can't see nothing, unless I'm mistaken wrong. But anyways, that is the John Deere X9 full anime by Just Farming. Next, we've got a animal trader here. This is the animal trader by GL Mods. It is 4.81 megabytes to download. Slot count is 8, goes down to 1. £80,000 holds 12 cows or 36 sheep. 38 sheep, 36 pigs, and 12 horses or 12 horses added. And you got a couple of configuration options. But in terms of when you hook this up, so got our Volvo here. Hook that up. And yeah, in terms with options and that with opening stuff, nothing. Absolute butt kiss. We have our torch open, we've got some cows in here. So yeah, you'll find this under tools. Scroll down to animals. And or animal transporter. At the end, so yeah, exact same as the Silver Star. The only real difference is difference in design, so materials, so you've got your standard or metal or wood, so that is the panel, so oh yeah, I do like that wood option though. Main cutter, that changes the main body of the trailer. And then you got your wheel, so wheels, you've got chrome, silver, white or black. Yeah, but even with those options, it's only an extra £1,100, so... Yeah, not too bad for a little Wilson trailer if you're a fan of those. Me, not personally, because I don't really use them, but... I'm sure this will suit someone out there, so yeah. That is the Animal Trailer by GL Mods. Next. We've got something that has... Might well as like set up the map in that, or set up the review. This is the Lizard Barrel by Silent Modding. 2.94 megabytes to download. Slot count is 3 slots. But there is a required mod, which is 6 slots. I'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah, so Lizard Barrel and Scripture Mood as following 10,000 euro suitcase shaped Lizard Barrel with baffles. 8.5 grand. And this has a different options, either hold Surrey, fertilizer, milk, or water. And it says in the description here, before the lizard barrel can be filled, cover must be opened with N. Otherwise, it cannot be filled, so I don't know what it is. I'm a console player, so why is that there? I'm not too sure, but goes as following can be coupled to a trailer from the sloping floor container mod and this is a mod by sorry modding uh privat privet and lumpy that is 16.61 megabytes to download and that is six slots for consoles so i'll show that in a sec here but anyway so if we go down to our mods tools and under animals so at the end, so yeah, there's a barrel, so you've got water, milk, for here, and there is an option for, uh, I think it's under Surrey Tanks, you can find, again, this is a barrel, now the whole digestate or liquid manure, so, eight and a half grand, no colour options or anything. And yeah, this does require a, another mod. This can be found under Tools and Miscellaneous. Scroll down to under Tools and Trailers. Go to the end. So yeah, we got the Welger DK115 and Stroutman SCK802. 
And yeah, also kind of the mod hub, first of all, was like, these are very familiar to base game traders, but doesn't work, so you need those specific mods. So if we go down here, so soap, boss, soap and bottom, you need one of these two. Doesn't matter which one it is, so I'm not going to go into those in detail. But yes, so you can have detach and attach this. So we've got fertilizer. So yeah, if I say the problem's gonna be is getting this off, because getting it on is fine. But yeah, you're gonna need uh, like another loader and that to get this off, because otherwise. So yeah, maybe have a small tractor, tow this around, to get your loader on and that, and then you can detach. And yeah, use these little slots here to put your pallet forks or anything like that, or tension belts, or the telescopic teander, which is a pallet fork and tension belt, so... But yeah, again, so tracked here, so... That is the Lizard Barrel by Silent Modding. Next, we've got the Madara Agro Odyssey, and I think this is a new manufacturer. I don't, I don't recognise the manufacturer, so maybe a new licence or something, but yeah, so got the Madara, Madara Agro Odyssey by Eat123 1. 50 megabytes to download slot count is 6 and 9 slots respectively, so for the normal cultivator is 6 slots and for like, the bigger one with the harrows and that, that is 9 slots, so quick demonstration, so get the first one hooked up there we go unfold and then lower it there we go and yeah, these are 4 meter cultivators and yeah Goes along just fine, no issues whatsoever. So we've got that one there. That's uh, that is a pull behind cultivator, or if you're more of a what I call traditional one, you yeah, do have some nice color options. So yeah, both of these require 120 horsepower. Starts off at 26 grand for this one here. And for the pull behind one is first grand. But yeah, works well. Nice animations with the rollers and that. And a little bit of suspension, suspension or something. So yeah. Once again, you'll find this under tools and cultivators. Scroll down to the end. So yeah, we've got the old CPKU 414P. Nice slots goes down to one. Four meters work width at nine miles an hour weighs five point seven tons. One hundred twenty horsepower requirement. So yeah, we got speed sign, so no or yes, so twenty five miles an hour there, I'm guessing. Main colour we got red, black, grey or blue, but I'll call that more of a purple to be fair. Design colours is the furrows, so Got grey, black, black and red. So let's put grey. Design colour is a kind of roller, so you got yellow, red, black, grey, and bluish purple. Frame colours got black, grey, red, or white. So yeah, that changes the rims. For the 414N, something simpler, so main colour. That changes the top section of the main body of this. Design colour, once again it's going to be your furrows. And your design colour is for your little rollers here at the back. So yeah, that is the Madara Agro Odyssey by Eat123. Next, we've got the New Holland TX66 by 
Tot Hut. 49.18 megabytes to download. Slot counts is 16 and 7 slots. So 16 slots for the combine and 7 slots for the header. And yeah, just a simple co old combine harvester. Starts off at 150 grand, 266 horsepower. Capacity is 8,000 litres. The header is 42 grand, 6.1 metre work width. And this can be found first of all under tools, vehicles and machinery. So harvesters. And yeah, so 150 grand. Goes down to one slot count. Not too many options in terms of configuration. So wheel brand, we've got lizard, standard, standard two, standard three, standard four, standard five, standard six, seven, eight, so yeah, different like tread depths for the backed wheels and that. So you've got small wheels, got your communal road back tires. Michelin, you got standard four, three, two, and then standard. Trelleborg, standard, standard two, standard three, four, and then back to standard. Decals, we've got type one. Type 2, Type 3, Type 4, and back down to Type 1. And I can't find a difference in Type 1 and Type 4. Yeah, I cannot find nothing different in there, but yeah, so yeah, some minor adjustments and to be fair, I do like Type 2. That is nice to look at. So, yeah. Got that. And then you got your worn stripes on the back of the combine. And then next you got your TKX66 header. 42 grand, 6.1 meters work with. And sort of a fast farming combine header or anything like that. Just does your basic grains canola, rape seeds, soybeans and your sorghum. No colour options or anything to adjust so and it recommends you the N40B header that will suit that perfectly. And yep. Oh that is something I didn't notice that beep before so beeps turns on. So here we've got not many options in terms with adjustments or anything. Just your L1 and up and down raises and lowers the header a bit there. And then you can extend it out or bring it back in. L1, R1, nothing. R1, nothing. So yeah, we'll go and lower this. Turn this on. Turn our lights on. And yeah, it's simple, rudimentary. But yeah, I do love the lighting. The animations, the physics is absolutely beautiful. Brings some nice dust at the back of the combine when you're getting strong. And then put your over out. So, an option to adjust the over point. I cannot fix. Yeah, I don't think so. Just yet. Lower it on the ground as we go along. So, yeah, that is the New Holland TX66. And now for our penultimate mod for the day. For our penultimate mod of the day, we got the versatile four wheel drive tractors by BC Brewer Farm. It is 55.36 MB to download. Got the Delta Tract version that is 19 slots for console and then 17 slots for the wheeled version. And yeah, this is a conversion from the FS19 version with some improvements such as, such as additional wheels, rims, and other parts. And that there is 13 engine options with a variety of options with 2016, 2016 50th anniversary edition. 
2020, 22, and a fantasy New Holland inspired heritage edition. Almost a stutter there, so yeah. You'll find this under vehicles and large tractors. And yeah, go right at the end. So yeah, we've got the Delta track. So yeah, it's got a huge variety of options. So first of all, we've got the 2020 530. 583 horsepower, 1,749 liters of fuel, or 95 liters of death. 26 miles an hour at 25.2 tons. And you've got a 2022 580. That is 630 horsepower. Got a 2022 620 version. That is 665 horsepower. And then we've got a 2020 520 edition. So yeah, that's already been covered. So yep. Yeah. Let's go with that. Brand new and modern. We'll set up. we got the Casmo 6500 AG 13 inches. I got 6500 for 6 inches. So that is the extra 6 inches for the track. Got the Gator 30 inch. Gator 36. The Traxman XP 30 inches. 36 inches. And similar to the Cosmo we had before, but. This line is just a three meters wider, so yep, yeah, same as your normal version. So yeah, like something like that. I do that like wide, massive tracks. Lights we got standard, a deluxe. So it is a couple of lights on the front of the cab, and some on the back of the cab. Deluxe Plus, so I hear some extra lights on the back. I've got a light bar, so that is for the front here. So yeah, rather than having spotlights, we've got a light bar in front. And then back down to standards. Monitors, that is for inside the cab, so you've got old or new. Back down to old, so yep, new and old, and I'll show a close up of those. Now, front weight, we've got something a bit different. So, we've got standard 1800 kilogram, or we've got the K9 blade attacher, and that is the option that goes with the K9 dozer blade by Carl Farms. And yeah, basically, that is just a big old massive plow, not plow. Well, technically, it could be like a little plow, but. Basically, it's like your size leveler or your like your snow. Uh, was it snow blade option? Or it's cleared snow and that. So yeah, you can have that as an option there. Or then back down to standards. Beacons we've got none, old or new, and back to none. GPS we've got none or GPS. Attachers we've got standards. Both weights at the back, so that gives us an extra 3.4 tons. We got a mid weight, rear weight, PTO and mid weight, or just PTO, and back down to standards. And so we didn't come across it with this, but if we go to the four wheel drive version, so Engine configurations is exactly the same. Not going to go over those again. And for tyres, we got Mission Twins, Twins 2, Twins 3, Twins 4, Twins 5, Twins 6, 7, Triple Wheels, Twins. On the motors, we got Twin Wheels, Twins 2, 3, 4. There we go. Trailer Board, we've got Twins, Twins 2, 3, Triples and then back down to twins. Continels, we've got twins, twins two, triples, and back down to twins. BKT, we've got twins, twins two, three, four, and back down to twins. For Versteins, we got only twins, no other options. But for my personal favourite, we've got the 
1400 LSW tires. Look at those chonky boys. But if you're not a fan of those, you've got triple wheels, triple two, twins, twins twos, twins three, twins fours, five, and back down to your LSWs. Lights, so we've got standard, deluxe, so yeah, I'm not going to go over those and that. But there was a heritage, op heritage option, and that was it. That was with the year and model, my correction. So, yeah, so they, they have really changed over the years. But for that fancy New Holland heritage, 591 horsepower. And you can't go wrong with a New Holland blue. Definitely cannot go wrong with that. So, yeah. LSW or tracks. Screw it, we're going with the LSW, so we put in our help menu. No configurations or options. Lights on that. Beacons, yep. So you've got lights. Indicators, we've got left and right hazards. And I cannot find a front light option on my side panel with this, so maybe we don't have an extension for the front light, so... Ooh, okay, we turn those off. But yeah, it handles well for an articulated tractor. What more can you spec? This is an awesome piece of kit. And yeah, well, that's the thing with PC... PCB or farms is... Just the options you have of it, of it sometimes with the level of details, like the amount of work, work that goes into these. I can't truly appreciate those. So, yeah, that is the versatile four wheel drive tractors by BC Brew Farms. And, yeah, we're on to our final mod of the day. I'm going to clear some of this up because I've had so many issues with this. Hence why this is so late coming out. But yeah, let's get a couple of things set up here, and then we'll have a little look. For our final mods of the day, we've got the Excavator Lever 902 pack by Black Sheep Modding. It is 29.09 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is a pack of two excavators, a tracked version and a build version, a variety of colour options and attachers, so got some of them, so we've got a tree harvester header, we've got a earth working bucket, and as we head over here we've got our forestry grinder, and our forestry grinder by accident, brush and log fork, we do have two options of those, and a beat Apple. So that is some of the options. I'll show the rest in store because this is the limit I have had so far without the game just freezing solid and crashing. It wasn't just here at the shop, it will happen it happened over on our pad area and that and just I'm not sure what it is, what is a mod conflict or what or something, I do not know, but anyways. Here are in the Lieber 902, so this is the build version. And yeah, just quick looks off first of all. Simple, basic, as expected with a Lieber excavator. So yeah, we've got the tree harvester header that can do 1 up to 12 meter logs in 1 meter increments. If I go to. So you've got options to open the door, so under, let's go to, yeah, control group 1 for the crane, so L1, side to side, changes the body, swivels the body, up and down, raises the hydraulics off the main boom, and then R1 and up, extends the upper boom, and then left and right, pivots the header and act. And then L1 and R1. So, right analog stick 
left to right, rotates the header, and then up and down swivels the actual implement itself. So, for control group 2, we've got similar options, so left, L1, up and down, up and right analog stick, opens and closes the doors, and yeah, that rotates the header to that, same thing. Lovely jubbly, fair enough. Control group 3, you'll need this if you want to lure these legs, so... L1 and R1, no sorry, we want L1 and right on the second up and down. That C raises and lowers the support legs. So if you're doing forestry on a bit of a rough terrain, this will help you out, so... So yeah, let's go and do a bit of forestry to demonstrate this, so it helps if you put the legs away. I want to go to the crane, first of all. So yeah, I know a bit of forestry, so getting this up and in position ain't too much of an issue for me. Don't have the support assist with this, so all of this is manual by hand. And then, you yeah, not close enough to cut, so... There we go. That's it. Lower it, raise out. Swivel the header. And there we go. Let that fall. And then, yeah, say... 8 meter logs we want. And yeah, in general... The forestry header does support it quite fine. We've got a couple of bits of logs there. So yeah, that is the forestry header version. But yeah, if we go back to the store, as I said before, we do have a variety of options. And yeah, that includes a support for the front of the excavator. But yeah, you'll find this under Vehicles and miscellaneous. So, got the R902 at 902. The turns with slot counts. Both of these are eight slot counts each. Goes down to one. Starts off at 90 grand. Goes up to 99 grand for the track version. 300 liters of fuel. The track version is heavier, so it's a bit slower. And uh, yeah, and does have a higher horsepower engine. So yeah, let's go with options under design and standard. Or well, we've got a forestry grate at the front, so if you're in forestry, having a little grate on the front will help with protection. Beacons on the sides, we've got type 1, type 03, type 04. So yeah, it just changes little bits here and there with the beacons. Main colour, we've got a couple of options. So we've got your Lieber, got your communal, so that will change the main body of the excavator. And then room colours, we got Lieber, black, communal, green, green two, grey and black. That is the same all the way around. So yeah, that would change the tracks. And 902 is the same with everything. With the exception of get your front support, yes or no. Beacons are the same colors are the same but it's the wheel so we've got wheels so on the trailboard we've got standard narrows wide tires which raises up a little bit back down to standard no keys we've got the communal tires and that's it trailer board got standard narrows wide back down to standard and yeah so yeah trailer board and no keys so for your equipment You'll find this under Tools and Miscellaneous, so Turn Swift Slot Count, so having a look at my notes, so the Forestry Header, the HR46, that is 3 slots. The Beat Grapple is 2 slots and everything else is 1 slot, so Colour Options, fine, Colour Options, Colour Options. 
for the beat grapple we've got standard and we've got bulk discharge with grapple option it was like this point is where I had the game freezes so whether it's because of the this section here the this option that's causing my game to have issues I'm not sure but and that time to troubleshoot. So you are first set of log forks. And unless I'm mistaken. Ah no, I see the difference. It's the attacher on top. So I was like, cool, what's the difference? And yep, I actually noticed it, so actually bear me a sec. So yeah, I was just looking at like, some of the headers now, like figuring out why it was causing those crashes and that whilst I'm doing this mod review, but yeah, I can't find the exact cause of this, so I do apologies there, so yeah. But back to the rest, so yeah, got HR46, forestry grinder, grinder, so grind stumps, and then you also got pallet forks. And yeah, that is an interesting one, so have a look here. I don't think you can please don't freeze yourself, so there we go. Attach. So yeah, we've got your little pallet fork there. That is something I have not seen before. And yeah, L1 and R1. Right analog stick. Ooh, we can do our pallets. And yeah, oh, it's just the controls and that. It's going to be a bit of a fine one to get used to. But yeah, we've got the blades. So yeah, right analog stick does that. Oh yeah, so it's left analog stick to raise and lower the support there. Right analog stick. Not right analog stick, but R1. Yep, yeah, absolutely nothing, so... And that is the Liber Excavator 902 pack by Black Sheet Modding, so yeah, I think yeah, overall with this Excavator pack, not too bad. I'm not sure what's caused the game freezing issues for me. Again, your mileage may vary with that, so it could be just on my end with the mods I've got selected, but yeah, rather play safe than sorry. And I think I think that's where I'm going to leave it today, so that is all of the new mods for the 1st of March 2024. And once I've got this editing and uploading, I'm going to be doing the Ravenport 22 map tour. So that is a map I'm looking forward to by Salabuki. That will be up at some point tonight. Oh, yeah, because it's. Yeah to eight now when I'm just finishing this so it'll be up sometime in a couple of hours perhaps but yeah as always hope you enjoyed this mod review if so smash the like button feel free to comment down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel yet then please consider but where I choose to do hope you have a nice stay but for now this will be from Envoy Extreme and I'll see you all a very soon.